All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're gonna be in the 135 and 140 pound division where Tiafimo Lopez is talking straight out the side of his neck about Gervonta Tank Davis trying to explain why they didn't fight one another and how Gervonta Davis has an easy career because he has to do things. He can do things that other fighters cannot do, even though Tiafimo Lopez did the same thing, but lost. Let's talk about what that is and what he said in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna be in the 100 and 40 pound, 35 pound division where Tiafimo Lopez says that Gervonta Davis didn't fight him because he has a comfortable career where he gets away with only fighting B-level fighters, doesn't go below it, won't go above it. So that's why the fight with he and Gervonta Davis did not take place. And I question whether or not that, even if that was true, why would that prevent him from fighting Tiafimo Lopez? Because if the people that Tiafimo Lopez thinks are B-level fighters, then maybe Tiafimo Lopez is too. But before I get into that, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please accept my invitation to hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified of when we release more videos. And if you're a longtime subscriber and supporter of the channel, thank you so much for your continued support. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, and thank you to everybody that supports in the super thanks. Man, I see so many of you guys and 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 ladies that support the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, it really means a lot. Of course, Matty O, Barbara D, Mr. Pragmatic, Paul, uh, Paul Carrick, Jeff Miller. Thank y'all uh, for what you do for the channel. But let's get into this because Tiafimo Lopez is a very good fighter. He is a former four title holder at 135 pounds. And I'm going to say that because I don't want everybody. He's not undisputed. Look, man, he was the champion that was recognized by all four major championship sanctioning bodies. That's just the truth. The WBC recognized him as their champion. So did the WBA, the IBF, and the WBO all at the same time. <laughs> How that is not undisputed still boggles my mind. I understand that people talk about, I don't like the franchise belt. Yeah, you don't like the franchise belt, but Mauricio Suleiman liked it just fine. It is what it is. But that said, he's an accomplished fighter. And one of the people that uh, many people want to see in a fight with the big dog below 147 pounds and uh, financially the big dog and skill wise, because I think the dude is a terrific fighter. And that's why he got to the point that he's at. And that is Gervonta Davis. But Tiafimo Lopez, when answering a question about why he didn't fight Gervonta Davis, points to Gervonta Davis not wanting to fight it because he's not the type of fighter that Gervonta Davis wants to or has to fight. He says that Gervonta Davis can fight B-level fighters, never go above a B-level fighter, and never go below a B-level fighter. And he can just continue on through his career with that. And that's what he's doing. And that's why he doesn't want to fight. That's why the fight with him, uh, he, Tiafimo Lopez, and Gervonta Davis didn't take place. Now, my take on it is this, that's rubbish. That is malarkey. That is what you would call, I think the scientific term is boo-boo. <laughs> no, that's not the reason why that fight didn't take place. That fight, the reason that that fight didn't take place is because Tiafimo Lopez is over there with Bob Aram. And since he's over there with Bob Aram, he has signed, he has fights lined up with other Bob Aram fighters, period. And because if he was not with Bob Aram and he was with the PBC, he very well would, I think they very well might make that fight. And the reason that they very well may make that fight is because 
He fits the bill of that of what you see Tank Davis fighting. Tank Davis, and this is you can shame him for it or not shame him for it, is looking for very, very he's looking for big fights. And the big fights are typically people that have different fan demographics and you bring the two fan demographics together and you make a big fight. Uh, he did. He's done that a bunch of times. Now, and Tiafimo Lopez, I do think if he was not with Bob Aaron, would definitely fit that bill. And also, if he had not done a few things like which is the point that I one of the main points that I want to make, which is lose to a C-level fighter who is George Cambosis. Now, while I don't I think that Tiafimo Lopez is an A is an A-level fighter. I do not think that he is one of the top 10 best fighters in, in boxing. I don't think that he is a level. I don't think he's on the level of Gervonta Davis, of Shakur Stevenson, of um, Terrence Crawford. I don't think that he's on the same level as Jerron Ennis uh, or uh, definitely not Canelo Alvarez. Uh, and I should have put definitely before Jerron Ennis. Definitely not Jerron Ennis. Definitely not Canelo Alvarez. I don't believe that he is. Now, he is accomplished for sure because he was able to beat uh, Vasily Lomachenko, who I do believe is an A-level fighter, even though I think similar to the fight with uh that Lomachenko had with Devin Haney, that that Tiafimo Lopez really didn't separate himself from Vasily Lomachenko or really show that he was a better fighter than Lomachenko. I just think that Lomachenko is an A-level fighter that is a really a 130-pound fighter. That's what I and he's older and had a lot of wear and tear, has a lot of wear and tear on him, shoulder injuries, just generally age starts to creep up on you when, you know, you've had a career that's that long. And some people say, oh, no, uh, um, Vasily Lomachenko's career is not that long. He only has he doesn't even have 20 professional fights. Yeah, but he also had two Olympic. He also was in the Olympics two time, two Olympics, which is an eight year span. And he fought as an amateur from probably the age eight all the way up to 26 when he turned pro. And so he was basically a professional amateur for years before that. And so that type of activity is going to wear and tear on you. So I don't think, I personally don't think the Tiafimo Lopez separated himself from, from Vasily Lomachenko with that win. But to lose to George Cambosis, hey man, you get away. You got away with beating some B-level fighters or losing to a C-level fighter. And then the people that he beat that some people think that he lost to, like Sandor Martin. Sandor Martin is another guy that's a B-level fighter. So I would not be living in a glass house throwing stones. OK, <laughs> because. You can't say that he can continue to fight these B-level fighters, B-level fighters when you continue to you when you're fighting a bunch of B-level fighters and then losing to a B-level fighter. Now, you beat some A minus fighters because I think that's where Vasily Lomachenko is in his career at this point in time. And I think that that is what uh, Josh Taylor is, an A minus fighter. But Gervonta Davis has also done the same thing. Leo Santa Cruz is an A-level fighter. Hector, I think Hector Garcia is an A-level fighter. Maybe an A-minus level fighter, but a top-level fighter. Same thing goes with Mario Barrios. I think Mario Barrios is a maybe a B-plus, A-minus a fighter in Mario Barrios, especially how he's looked at, in, at welterweight when he was in Gervonta Davis and moved up uh, to fight him at 140. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Tiafimo just talking. And, but I like Tiafimo Lopez as a fighter. I do. And I would love to see the fight. But please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Peace.